Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crimp your own Ethernet cable. You're going to need four materials. First you're going to need your Ethernet cable. In my case it's Cat5e. Then you're going to need your RJ45 jack. You're also going to need your crimp tool. And lastly, you need your wire strippers. So you want to start by measuring out your cable. Once you've done that, cut your cable. Once you're done cutting the cable, go ahead and strip off about a half an inch of the housing. After that, you're going to want to separate the pairs. There will be a little plastic strand in the middle. Feel free to cut it off. Now you're going to untwist your pairs. Once your pairs are all untwisted, go ahead and put them in order. The order is going to be white with the orange stripe, orange, white with the green stripe, blue, white with the blue stripe, green, white with the brown stripe, and then brown. Once you're done putting them in order, you're going to cut the excess wire. After you're done cutting, double check, it's very important. As you can see in my case, the orange wire is first when it's supposed to be second. After you're done making sure the order is correct, go ahead and put it in the RJ45 jack. The jack has little channels which allow the wires to go through. Make sure the wires go into the jack as far as possible, all the way to the end of it. In my case, I cut the wires too short, but it will still make contact with the pins. Once it's securely in, grab your crimp tool and insert the jack into it. After it's in place, press down on the crimp tool. As you can see, now the wires are securely in place and the pins are making contact with the wire. Sometimes I like to crimp the wire one more time, just to make sure it's secure. After that, you're done. Thank you for watching. If this helped, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want more, please subscribe.